adventure down at Northumberland Zoo. While I was down there, I met up with the incredible zookeeper Daniel, who took us across the entire zoo and introduced us to some wonderful animals and creatures, just everything. The first that we went to see was the armadillos. Hello, darling. Ah. Yeah, turn around. <laughs> Rosie, yeah, look, there, you got that? So who's this then, Dan? This is Rosie. Rosie. Um, and Rosie's one of our six banded armadillos here at the uh, here at the zoo. Right, what's she eating then? She's eating mealworms just now. Um, they, they really enjoy insects. They're one of the, the main things that they eat. So she eats uh, mealworms, morrow worms, we she'll eat crickets and cockroaches, anything. Anything really that small enough, <laughs> she'll, she'll certainly give it a, a good shot. Does she eat um, vegetables as well? Or? She does. Uh, she really likes um, carrots, sweet potato, um, are, are two of her favourites. She also Ooh. really, really likes grapes and, and melon as well. Oh, I love grapes um, and melons. And then she also gets um, chilli eggs and she gets little bits of meat as well. Um, so she has a really good, good varied diet. We also give her some some biscuits as well that are uh, that we have to soak for her. She's not very keen on them if they're dry, right, but okay. if we soak them, she quite likes them. Yeah. Oh, mm. that's lovely. So you got this like really cool kind of shield on, on the back of her. Yeah. Um, can she actually turn into a ball? Is that true? Like, no, not, not quite. Like... She can sort of, she can curl up a little bit, but okay. they can't go into a, a, into a complete ball. Um, it's three banded armadillos, so a different species, three banded armadillos can curl right up. Yeah. And uh, a, a, a complete little little shielded ball. Yeah. Uh, whereas, whereas Rosie and, and this species, Basically, they curl a little bit and kind of tuck their legs in and hunker down and, and just create themselves a, <laughs> yeah. a sort of a shield from above. That's great. So what, like the shield then, like how thick is it? Okay. Um, it's it's pretty thick and it's it's very very firm. Um, so basically, it's made of it's only made of keratin. So it's made of the exact same thing as our fingernails and our um, hair. Oh, but right, it's, okay. it's very thick and and it's all it's yeah it's very very protective. You certainly yeah. you're certainly going to struggle to get through it. Obviously, their <laughs> stomachs and their tummies don't have any of that. Oh, right. So the, that's the area that obviously as soon as yeah. there's a threat, they'd, they'd hunker down and, and protect that area. So in other words, the back is just a giant thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the, the scales on the head here, yeah. on, on the on the front bit, they are as unique to an armadillo as a fingerprint is to us. So so that is completely, you could identify her from every other six-banded armadillo in the world. Really? Based on the exact formation of patterns on her head there. Amazing. So speaking of the world, where, where are armadillos originally from? Um, South America, rainforest kind of areas. Um, so yeah, um, Paraguay. You'll you'll find them throughout throughout those yeah. sorts of places. So yeah, they're they're, they're quite. That's why we've got to keep it relatively warm in here. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, so they're. Uh, yeah, it's nice and toasty. From a like, very different part of the world to, <laughs> to England in winter. Oh, definitely. definitely. Yeah. Oh, who's this little one here? This is this is one of her babies. So I like that line of be Julio or Miguel. So oh, they, they, were really born, names, they were born in November, so they're about three months old now. So she's they're, they're just starting to venture out on their own, but they're not quite as brave as Mam yet. So they're not oh. coming all the way out. It's just it's just rolling that pebble along. Yeah. Right? So listen, this one's doing really well. Being this this yeah. one's always been braver than the other. The, yeah. other. the other little boy tends not to come out as much. So they've got a very big nose at the front. Like how what, how far can they smell? They've got a fantastic sense of smell. They use it for smelling rather than outwards. They're not so much smelling for sort of predators and things. What they're smelling for is their food. So Ooh. most of what they eat, obviously, bugs and things like quite damp, dark places. So they'll be in amongst all the leaf litter like this on the jungle floor. Yeah. So, so basically, they're they're smelling under under the ground to find where the worms are and all the good bugs and grubs. Um, so yeah, we we'll sometimes when she's in bed, we'll sneak in and we'll bury food right into the soil. Yeah. And she'll come out and she always finds it. It's a, it's a fantastic, fantastically sensitive. Uh, That's amazing. Animal. I wish my sense of smell was like that. I wouldn't like a nose as long as an <laughs> elephant, but I would love a nose that's able to smell anything really. That's that's fantastic. That's it. It's a very sharp claws that that armadillo's got there. Yeah. So they, they literally do use that to to rip things things apart. So that like this log here. 
was a full complete log when we put it in. It was starting to go rotten, so I've <laughs> have had some bugs in. Yeah. We put it in and she's just destroyed it. She's dug away at it to get every little bit of bug and, wow. and anything tasty out of it. And then sometimes we'll use it as well. We put the mealworms and things in it. And yeah. she's got it. She's got it. Say, that log has definitely been destroyed by yeah. those claws. <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with an armadillo, mate. <laughs> no, no, uh, they're quite formidable claws. Yeah. And um, how, how many years can an armadillo live up to? They live about 15, 16 years in captivity. So yeah. Rosie's only, she'll be coming up Three. Only three? Yeah, she'll be coming up three. Wow. Um, and Lucas, the dad's baby, um, he, the baby's dad, <laughs> <laughs> um, Lucas will be coming up about nine now. So he's, he's a bit older, but he's still he's still got a good a good few few years left in him. Oh, and hopefully sense. some more babies. That's the plan. Yeah. Oh, bless. No, you're not coming up with the easy ones, Mrs. Yeah. Kind of wish I'd now with a lot of time now. Probably chomping away there. <laughs> she loves a mealworms. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? Hello. Quite happy there. Whoa, that's not nearly all gone already. <laughs> Go on then, one more mouthful. Probably spoilt her today, haven't you? Oh, we have. Wow, that was amazing. And to think as well. Our fingernails are exactly like the armadillo shields. That's incredible. Now, the next part of the zoo that we went to go visit was the parrots, particularly Millie the parrot. So I've literally just walked in here. There's all these wonderful birds just singing. And this one here is absolutely incredible. Who is, uh, who is this wonderful bird? This, this is Millie and she's our, uh, she's our blue and gold macaw. Wow. So she's, um, she's, she's definitely the star of the zoo at the moment, <laughs> without, without a doubt. So she's uh, just just giving us some of her, her favourite little little biscuits here. They're not they're not really yours, aren't they? Not, but she does like to she does like to snack. And they're just little digestive like. No, no, they, they are actual parrot food, but they're, oh, meant, they're meant for the Amazons. They're not really meant for Millie. But oh, she's see, uh, right. as, as an as occasional treat. She likes the odd the odd <laughs> It's not as fattening as the nuts and things that she oh. likes. So so uh, as as a treat, we we like use these. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> So uh, where is Millie from then? You'll find them in uh, the rainforests of South America. Right. So they, they again come from very warm, humid places, which is why why we're in the hot house here now. Yeah, I was going to say um, it's lovely warm here. So up up to this point, Millie's Millie's all, always been on her own. So she's she's never really learned how to fly because she she came to us as a rescue who lived in a cage um, as somebody's pet all of her early life, so yeah. she never had the opportunity to fly because oh. physically can't in a cage, there's just not enough space. Yeah. So she's never really learned how to, so we're hoping, we have we have future plans to try and in, in introduce her to to some friends and, and give her a bigger environment where hopefully she'll, she might try and uh, oh, I start so. learning. Definitely. Those, some those wings oh, are absolutely massive. Drop. Like, how, how, how big are her wings? Her wingspan will be about 150, 160 centimetres, so, so a good, a good, Wow. Certainly a good way. Almost like an eagle almost. Um, and they, they tend to, when, when the horse fly, especially as a group, yeah. they're very, very loud and vocal. They'll shout the whole time they're flying. So <laughs> to be able to witness that with a few friends with her would just be, that's, that's the dream. That's, that's what the dream. That's yeah. what we're hoping for. We really want to see her acting a bit a bit more like a parrot. I, re I really so. do hope that you get to see that one day, because that would be incredible. I, uh, I think I think we very well might. She's uh, yeah. lovely. Thanks, darling. Now, I do have one really important question about Millie. Yes. Can she talk? She can. Um, she can indeed. The most things that most people will hear will just be a simple hello, and even then, it depends on her mood. Um, but when she's out with uh, with Brian, who, who owns the zoo, who Millie absolutely adores, yeah, um, she talks away. The two of them just chatter to each other, <laughs> and most of what she says is things she's heard a lot because that's kind of parrots don't know what they're saying necessarily. They just repeat things they hear often. So you'll hear her saying, "Stop it, Millie! Put it down, Millie! Don't do that!" <laughs> and you can tell it's all the things that she's heard when she's she's teasing Brian and she's pulling his ears and trying to steal tools off him when he's doing things. So all of most of what she says relates to, to that, doesn't it, Mrs? That's fantastic. So um, what kind of mood is she in now? Because I'm gonna try and get her to say hello for me. She's she's in a pretty good mood. I've got treats. She's in a relatively good mood. Whether whether she'll say it is a, is anybody's oh. guess. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, I heard someone say hello over there. <laughs> that that lot talk away. Millie's Millie's not quite as confident with her Aww. words as the African greys are. Are oh, you not, Millie? <gasps> oh, chips. Chips. Hello. No, you're not. Oh, you're not. oh never mind. Maybe we can get her to speak next time. Come on, Millie. Right, set. <laughs> Come on. 
she, would you rather step on my seat? Sometimes it's a grip thing. If she feels like this, ah, oh, there we go. That's my fault, wasn't it? Oh, that's amazing. She's so beautiful. It's just the colour in the here. shape. This is where she tends to do her best talking is when she's on my hand. Yeah. She tends to do, but she, she's heading straight back up there, aren't you? Yeah. I think it's straight stays, back up to my shoulder. Is it stage fright? Do you think or? It literally depends on if she thinks there's something in it for her. There's yeah. certain people, that all the birds seem to be the same, there's certain people just attract their attention and they'll just talk away to them. Um, and then other times, and there's, there's very little you can do about it. It's purely on their terms, isn't it? Yeah. That's a great beak though, definitely. It is, it's designed for breaking into really big big nuts and, and yeah. fruits, that, that the sort of things that she'll eat in the wild. So, so she's, uh, she's got an awful lot of strength in that beak, definitely. Wow, definitely. I mean, these, these little biscuits are, are nothing, but even, if we'll give her peanuts and things, she'll break into them. They're not that difficult. Yeah. But I mean, she would be able, or she should be able to break into to walnuts and things, but she's too lazy. So <laughs> we tend to have to do it for her. She'll just, if they're too hard work, she just picks them up, throws them on the floor and just drop. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the most chilled out animal I've ever seen in my life. She's, uh, she's, she's, she's yeah. very, very chilled out. Very spoiled, aren't you, Millie? Love it. She's nothing there, that's just a finger. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, Billy the parrot is so cute. It's just such a shame that I couldn't get her to say hello, but never mind. 